Is it Sunday already? Woo! You guys are prompt. Good thing I'm already wearing my Kingdom Kids outfit. And I thought I was overprepared. I'm glad you guys came all the way to wake me up in my bedroom before I've even had coffee. But I'm glad you're here. So, let me get my coffee. In the meanwhile, why don't you take a look at the verses we're gonna be going over today. Come on, Koga. Let's go get some coffee. We gotta do church. <sighs> Thanks for waiting, guys. I feel much better after my coffee. I'm so glad you guys are here again in my house for Kingdom Kids Home Church. Can't wait, we have some fun things in store, but first let's start with prayer. I'm gonna pray, but I also pause the movie and pray with your siblings, pray with your parents, and what, what are you gonna pray about? Ask the Holy Spirit, what's on your heart, Holy Spirit? Invite him into the day, give him the glory. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna pray, and then I want you to pray, okay? Jesus, we love you, we praise you, we thank you for technology, we thank you that we can have church in our homes, and we can praise you every single day of our lives. Lord, I thank you that we have the freedom to praise you, Lord, and I pray for those nurses and healthcare workers and all of those who are working during this time um, of this crazy time in our life, keeping people safe and protecting them. And we pray for the slowing of COVID-19. I pray for my friends at home, Lord, that they would feel blessed by your spirit today. In Jesus' name, amen. Now pause and pray with your family. Okay, so welcome to church. We've got some fun things in store today, but before we continue, we have a new little segment for you. Now this is the time for Tony tell them. Um, tell them what? Whatever he wants! Hey guys, it's Tony here. Mr. Tony for some of you. I want to tell you about the secret place. The secret place with the Most High. First, I need to find a secret place. It's right now. Someone's watching me. It's resting. So I'm going to find a secret place to meet with the Lord. And I'm thinking of going up in that tree. I'll let you know how it goes. Well, I'm here by the tree. And it's, uh, it's pretty tall. Rustin's still watching me. So, got to get ready. I have my Bible here my big pocket ready to go meet with the Lord up in that secret place I'll let you know how the climbing goes okay I made it up a different tree the other tree was uh, a little too hard to get up so found a different tree it's actually better because it has more um, coverage you see those branches with the pine needles I don't think anyone can see me even though I'm wearing bright blue but Ever since I was a kid, I have always wanted to find a secret place with the Lord where nobody could bother me, no one could interrupt my time, and I could just think, I can pray, could read my Bible, and it's actually biblical to, to go away and find a place with the Lord. Um, Moses did it, and the Lord hit him in the cleft of a rock and passed over him, and he saw the back of Jesus. That was cool. Or the back of God. And it says in Psalms 91, He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High will abide or stay and be protected by the Lord. Something like that. But I encourage you all to find a secret place and get with Jesus. Read your word. Start in Psalms. Psalms 91. Try to figure it out. Alright, I'm going to start reading. Have a good day. I was wrong. Rustin found me. Now he's trying to come up here. 
I don't know what he's doing right now. Just messing around, I think. Well, better climb higher or find a different secret place. Over and out. So what did you guys think of what Mr. Tony was saying about the secret place? About finding a spot where you and God can connect. That's the important. I usually have my secret place right here. It's not so secret. I mean, it's just usually me and God and my Bible. Sometimes Koga. Sometimes Reese will join me. Because it's not very secret. But the thing that makes it special and secret is the relationship with God that I'm having. The conversations I'm having. The prayers I'm praying. It's fun to have a nice little cozy spot that only you and God have. But the important part is the connection and the inter interaction. So Mr. Tony mentioned a dude, Moses. He referred, to, he referred to Moses being shoved in a cleft of a rock. He was on a mountain, his secret place. In Exodus 33, you can read about that. He's having this conversation with God and the Israelites, the people that Moses led, he, he would go up in the mountain and then the Israelites would see this big cloud of glory fall down and Moses was trapped in there and he was surrounded by the presence of God. So when we have our secret place, God comes down and he, he wants to spend time with us and cover us in love. That's what the secret place is all about. It's fun to find a cool spot, but it's also the most important part is to connect with Jesus. You wanna know who else had a secret place? Jesus. He would go, you would see in the, the, the New Testament, he would go and he would go up the mountain after a long day of ministry, he'd go in the mountain because he wanted to be with his God, his father, the one who knew him most. So today, if you don't have a secret place, find one. And if you do, go there and spend time with Jesus, especially when we're at home all the time. You know what might be kind of fun? I'm home right now. I love this spot, but maybe you guys can help me find another secret place. Mr. Tony inspired me. Let's go. Okay, let's see. Do you think this one will work for my secret place? Maybe not. What about these ones? Peekaboo! Maybe not. Maybe this one? Ugh. Tony made it look so much easier. I think I'll stick with my other one. You know, I think I'm gonna stick to this as my sacred place because I think it's a little bit more comfortable. We'll see you guys next week. But for next week, we have a fun little thing. We're gonna have a fancy party in our homes. I know we may not be able to see you, but we can still dress up fancy and have a fun fancy party together. Me, Koga, and Reese, we're all gonna wear our fanciest clothes. You wear it too. And maybe even to serve your mom and dad, make a fancy breakfast. But sit, have your parents email pictures to the Kingdom Kids website because we want to be a part of, because you're a part of our family and we want to have fun together. So remember today to practice the word of God. We prayed, we practiced. Oh, and don't forget to praise. Put on your favorite worship music. I myself have been loving me some Corey Asbury. The Father's House, that one is really good. I hope you guys have a happy Sunday and we love you.